Let's take a look at how to factor the equation x squared minus 3x minus 4 equals 0. And we use these guidelines here to help us. So the first thing we need, we need a skeleton equation. So we have our skeleton equation here. And now we can figure out the signs that will go in the skeleton equation here. So we have a negative and a negative. If both the middle and the last term are negative, we'll put a positive and a negative in our skeleton equation. Once we have the signs here, now we're going to find the factors for the last term. That's this negative 4 that should equal the middle term, the negative 3. So if we look at the factors for 4, we could have 1 times 4 or 2 times 2. Those are our factors. And I could see if I put a 4 here and a 1 here. So this should be correct. But we can check our work with the FOIL method. That looks like this. So we multiply the first term. That gives us the x squared outside, inside, and then the last term. That gives us this here. Then we can combine these values for x, minus 4x plus x, that's minus 3x. So we have x squared minus 3x minus 4 equals 0. That's the same thing as we had up here, so we know we're correct. Let's briefly figure out the values for x that will make this 0, make it a true statement. So we could say x plus 1 equals 0, so x will equal a negative 1. And if you put negative 1 in for these x values, all of this will equal 0. Likewise, we could say x minus 4, that equals 0, so x would equal the positive 4 there. So we could put 4 in for x here, 4 squared minus 3 times 4 minus 4. All of this, again, will equal 0. So these are the solutions to our equation here. If you use the quadratic equation, you get the same thing, just a different way of going at it. This is Dr. B factoring the equation x squared minus 3x minus 4 equals 0. Thanks for watching.